Time to rock and roll! Hello, my friend. My name is Bot Mathematician and this is Hello Mansa. Also, Chief Investigative Reporter Dora joined us this evening. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. The new expansion showdown in the Badlands will take us to the Wild West. Today we have a huge number of topics to discuss. In addition to the new expansion packs, we will talk about a completely new type of packs and how they affect pre-orders. Without exaggeration, Catch-up packs are game changers that significantly increase rewards for returning and new players without hitting the game's economics. We will also talk about the optimal number of packs to purchase and answer the question. Why is now the best time to return to Hearthstone? Let me start. I collected data about the plot of the new expansion. The evil Bloodrock Mining Company, run by the dastardly sheriff Eustace Barrelbrum, have set up a ramshackle mining venture to drain Azeroth of its Azerite resources. This material is the crystallized blood of the planet. The evil townspeople have their share of this business. Mysterious outlaws, led by Elise Starseeker, came on horseback to set the town right, but the corrupt Sheriff Barrelbrim's stubborn, and some townspeople are not ready to part with big profits. These circumstances have divided the Hearthstone classes into two camps. Some guys side with the sheriff, while the rest support the outlaws. The second fact concerns the timeline. This expansion takes place in the past before the creation of the League of Explorers. We will witness the acquaintance and cooperation of Reno Jackson with Elise Starseeker. They hit it off so well that they form the League of Explorers after the events of the showdown in the Badlands. During that period, Reno doesn't even realize that he is a dragon. By the way, don't miss our big animated film based on cinematic trailers and lines from the adventures. You will learn about the exploits of the League of Explorers and how Reno learned the main secret about himself and saved Azeroth. The new expansion brings new details to this story. Traditionally, the last expansion of the year is released in December, but this time the new set awaits us in mid-November. Showdown in the Badlands is Hearthstone's 25th expansion, and the largest and most unique set in the history of the game. Although the number of collectible cards has not changed, the expansion still consists of 145 cards. The developers have added almost 60 additional incollectible tools that are generation products. The key mechanic is the new new keyword, excavate. The entire town is digging deeper and deeper into the mines, looking for other right treasures. Your first use of excavate will give you a common 1 mana treasure, then a rare 1 for 2 mana, and finally an epic treasure for 3 mana. After that the process will repeat. The townsfolk classes, which are represented by Death Knight, Mage, Rogue, Warlock, and Warrior have additional benefits. They have access to the treasures of the 4th legendary pool that they get when they excavate for a 4th time. In turn Demon Hunter, Druid, Hunter, Paladin, Priest, and Shaman are the good guy outlaws who oppose the greedy townspeople. Each of these classes gets a powerful collectible legendary outlaw minion that gets a bonus effect if you have no duplicates in your deck. This means that Highlander decks will return to Hearthstone. The key card in this archetype will be the first neutral hero card, Reno, Lone Ranger. The second new keyword is, Quick Draw. This mechanic activates an extra effect the turn the card is added to your hand. In addition to these core mechanics, the set contains a huge number of new small interactions and synergies. Without exaggeration, Showdown in the Badlands is potentially one of the most fun and diverse sets in the history of the game. The main intrigue lies in the interaction with previous expansions. Unfortunately, the lack of changes has become traditional for the rewards track. The number of free rewards has not changed, but that is not a problem. The current progression system is in good shape but rewards track has huge untapped potential. We would like to see increased capabilities in the future. The pool of free skins for reaching level 100 on the reward track has finally been updated. The developers have added 6 amazing new portraits for heroes. To complete the main 100 levels of the track with various rewards, you only need to play at least once a week. If you want to take all the gold from the track, then you will have to spend 9 hours every day to get to level 400 subject to a 50% win rate in the traditional ranked format and complete all quests and at least 30% of achievements. If you purchase the Tavern Pass, you will need to spend two fewer hours each day. Dear friends, before we continue we want to ask you for help. Please share with us your current rewards track level and percentage of completed gameplay achievements for the Titans expansion in the comments below this video. This data is of great importance in determining the real involvement of players. Thank you so much, and now let's move on to the next fact. 
Tavern Pass also has not undergone significant changes. In addition to the XP boost and 11 portraits for all classes, when you purchase this offer, you will receive a diamond card and two gold versions of free legendary cards, as well as two signature copies of the epic wishing well card, plus other cosmetics. While mining data, I managed to find a mention of a new mini set. This means that in the middle of the expansion phase we will see the release of an additional 37 cards for the showdown in the Badlands set. Traditionally, you can get all new cards by spending 2000 gold or $15. A huge surprise was the announcement of a new type of packs. Catch-up packs allow developers to differentiate the amount of rewards for each individual player without destroying the economy. These are the most difficult but also the fairest packs in the game. Each pack allows you to get from 5 to 50 cards. Here's how it works. Imagine that each of the 5 card slots in your pack is conditionally represented by cards from one of the 5 previous sets. The pack checks the percentage of cards in your collection for each expansion and determines how many cards in each slot you will receive. If you have few cards from a particular expansion, then you will receive more new cards from this set. For example, if you have 25% or less of cards from Sunken City, then in this slot you will receive 10 cards, which will be equivalent to opening the usual 2 packs. Another example, if you manage to collect 75% or more cards from the Titans expansion, then in this slot you will receive only one card from this expansion, which will be equivalent to 20% of the pack. But if you have 50% of the collection then you will receive 5.5 cards. This means that you will get a 50% chance of getting the 6th card in the slot. Catch-up packs do not contain golden cards but have guaranteed legendary cards. You are guaranteed to receive a card after opening 50 cards from one expansion slot, which will be equivalent to opening 10 regular packs. Thus, for a new player, in case the pity timer is activated, the fifth catch-up pack will contain 5 legendary cards from different sets. But on average you will find them in the second or third pack. For regular active players who have 75% of their collection, the pity timer will turn on only on the 50th pack, but on average you have a chance of finding the first legendary card in the 25th pack. All players will receive a total of 7 packs for free for various activities. I'm excited about this approach, because it completely changes the order in which players should purchase packs in the game. Dear friends, expect a detailed guide on the order of purchasing packs in the near future. Catch-up packs do not contain cards from Showdown in the Badlands, which means you will have to complete your collection of the new expansion using traditional methods. To get the full collection of Showdown in the Badlands cards you need to open 260 packs plus purchase a mini set for $15 or 2000 gold coins, but this is a speculative amount that does not take into account special rewards during the expansion phase. An active player needs significantly fewer packs. Let's say you want to get a large number of new cards as quickly as possible and at the same time rationally save all other resources for the next expansion. In this case, the optimal number of purchased packs will be less than 200. This is the maximum possible number of packs you could consider. Remember that you will receive new packs as a reward for raiding, participating in events, and as bonuses for watching online broadcasts. In addition, Legendary and Epic cards on the reward track will also significantly reduce the cost of a complete collection of cards. Moreover, in this scenario, you should also remember about the guaranteed diamond card, which will also slightly reduce the cost of the collection. But if you want to gradually collect cards throughout the expansion phase, then the optimal number of packs purchased for real money will be 100, in addition you will still have the opportunity to purchase a mini set for 2000 gold coins. To get enough free resources, you will have to regularly perform simple activities, reach at least diamond rank every month, and spend 40 minutes in battles every day. It's time to talk about pre-orders. 10 golden packs have been returned to the Mega Bundle, making this offer very similar to the Festival of Legends, but this time the value is significantly increased thanks to catch-up packs. Let's determine how profitable these offers are. Please note that the benefit will vary significantly for each player. For example, for an active player, the benefit from catch-up packs will be significantly less compared to even regular standard packs, since these packs do not contain golden cards and cards from the new expansion. You will only receive 5 cards in a pack and most likely they will be duplicates or useless garbage. In this case, all catch-up packs will be equivalent to dust. But even so, this offer is very generous. If you subtract the free legendary cards from the cost of the collection, including those on the reward track, then the $50 bundle will bring you 33% of the cost of the full collection. 
The $80 Mega Bundle is the new most generous offer in Hearthstone history, excluding the March of the Lich King offer, which had artificially inflated benefits. Also note that in this offer, Blizzard added 20 catch-up packs. If you add free packs to them, even an active player has a chance to find 5 legendary cards from previous expansions. Even if you end up with useless cards, it's still a good way to fill gaps in your collection. But when it comes to new or returning players, the math is completely different. 10 catch-up packs can replace 20 packs for each of the 5 previous expansions. A regular pre-order will get you 31% of the showdown in the Badlands collection and 16% of the trading cards for each of the previous expansions. Thus, every dollar spent will bring 3.5 packs. The Mega Bundle looks even more impressive. 20 catch-up packs will be equivalent to 39 packs from 5 previous expansions. Which means every dollar invested will bring you almost 4 packs. Players have mixed reactions to the appearance of catch-up packs. Guys, what are your thoughts? This is definitely a very important innovation for the future development of the game. Catch-up packs very elegantly solve the problem of unfair awards for new and returning players. Adding new packs to pre-orders has significantly increased the benefits of purchasing these offers. After the release of the new expansion, the best time will come to return to the game. Even if you are a free 2 play player, you will receive a record amount of free resources for faster adaptation. In addition, a new type of pack significantly increases the value of pre-orders, including for active players. You must pay attention to this offer. Blizzard is finally starting to move in the right direction. Guys, let's continue to talk about facts. Unfortunately, this will be the first expansion in many years that will not have a pre-release event and will not allow you to open your pre-orders earlier. Blizzard recently announced the closure of the Fireside Gatherings program. You will be able to open your packs only after the expansion is released. But there is also good news. The Hearthstone team has introduced the mass pack opening feature. If you have from 5 to 40 packs of the same type, you'll be able to open them at once. The interface will then show you some highlights from your packs, and give you a full summary of all the cards opened in that stack. Valeric Windblade and Elise Badland Savior are the set's two progression rewarded diamond cards. As we already said, Valeric is part of the paid tavern pass. Elise can become available for free if you manage to collect 25 legendary cards from the new expansion. In addition, there is a possibility that Blizzard will introduce several more diamond cards that will become part of special premium bundles. A similar strategy was used after the release of the Titans expansion. Blizzard continues to work on the signature concept. With each new expansion, the alternative art gets better and better. This time, the Hearthstone team abandoned experiments with various styles and prepared very atmospheric images in the same color scheme and similar style. We will receive a record amount of alternative art. Some non-legendary signature cards may become part of gifts during special events. It is worth recalling the re-roll function. A signature or diamond card version can drop off a card you already own. When it does you'll get a pop-up that asks if you'd like to re-roll your existing normal or golden copy for free. The re-roll offer happens any time that you are awarded a non-disenchantable version of a card that you already have and always respecting duplicate protection. These are all the facts for today. The new set has great potential for fun. Signature cards are getting better and catch-up packs are solving some of Hearthstone's long-standing problems. In addition to these benefits, at BlizzCon the development team introduced a new co-op mode for Battlegrounds. And this gave us real delight. It looks like Blizzard is actively preparing to celebrate the game's 10th anniversary in March. But I still want to devote the traditional question to catch-up packs. D dear viewers, do you think the new type of packs will significantly improve things for returning and new players? Share your thoughts in the comments and join the polls in the community tab. Finally, we want to express our boundless gratitude to our sponsors. Dear friends, your support is invaluable. Many thanks to each of you. We also want to welcome new subscribers to our mathematician squad. We only see nicknames of public users who have not hidden the subscription section on their channel, but we are grateful to everyone for joining. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for spending this time with us. We really hope that we will have the opportunity to get in touch in the next video. Take care of yourself. And never give up. Job's done.